please take pity on an old madman. Uh huh. Unless we have specific business, I'm not interested. Take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Hafengar. Congratulations. I grant you a personal housecarl to watch over your home, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Please address all questions to the steward, Folk Firebeard. The Jarl is not to be disturbed with common affairs at court. Certainly. What did you have in mind? Very well, I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well, I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, is there anything else you need? Anyone with a stout heart like yours is welcome here. Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Take care of yourself, and always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. Yeah? I have so very many ways to deal with people. Very few of them are pleasant. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Don't mess anything up while you're here. Are you here to talk about my brother? Do you think his execution was justified? Then you didn't know Rogvir, and you have no idea what it means to be a Nord of Skyrim. He did the honorable thing, even when he knew it would cost him everything. My brother was the best man in solitude.
look new. I'm new too. I think we could be friends. Turn me in? For what? What crime's been committed? I'm just making idle talk about what would most undoubtedly be a tragic event. A tragic and very, very profitable event. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. It should... You talk to Ed Brothers. Deja has no words for you. If you're looking for opportunities to make some coin, well, I'm your man. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, you see. So many details to work out. Ah, yes. If she wants to pay the 2,000 gold tariff, then we'll be all set. That would be acceptable. You can tell Yvette San her shipment will be brought up to Solitude shortly. Some say I got my position because my cousin is the Emperor. Nonsense. The man's given me nothing. He can't even be bothered to attend my wedding. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon. Careful now. Wouldn't want someone to get, get burned. Mmm, spice wine for you? It's a family recipe. Thank you so much. I swear it's a fight with them every shipment. Here's something for your troubles. Good luck out there. Was done talking Seems like a anyway. tough time to be wandering Skyrim. The Divine saved me from the streets, and they can save you from your trials as well. I'm waiting. Generally posting information is need to know only. I... I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. Her daughter was sent to Whiterun. The skirmishes there have been violent. The White One Legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. You can sell off that junk at bits and pieces. Aromatics. It's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. I hope your parents take a look.
Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. As High Priest of the Eight Divines, I be... You're welcome. Welcome to the Bard's College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch... Always a pleasure to meet a prospective bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring bard. Elicent has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. Yes, according to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in the dead man's respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. That's tremendous! I have to admit, I, I didn't fully believe it still existed. Now, let's, let's take a look at this. Oh, oh no! Well, th this won't do at all! Look, the, the copy is incomplete! It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. Oh. It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the Burning of King Olaf festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? I find that highly unlikely, but the court will love it. I'm writing it in. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked! Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but Asgir seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What did say happened? Oh, that is exciting! I'm sure the court and the Yara will love it. I'm, I'm writing it in now. It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. We drink to our youth, to the days come and gone, for the age. I do hope the court likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. I do hope the court likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it.
one might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. I do hope the court likes the purse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, and no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf was Numenex in human form. On moonless nights, he would spread wings and sail. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Olaf gave orders, winter hold disguises, an attack on solitude total destruction to follow. His men dressed up and then went out to fight, but they reversed Olaf's orders much to Winterhold's sorrow. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be generously rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. Spiel Stento Unbelievable! Has a of magical theory you have done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Soon, soon, these things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! We should have the festival soon. Not much, to be honest. Their return was a shock to us all. Gerard Germain has some tomes about them in the library, if you're interested. Uh, not much. But as a bard, I find the whole affair depressing. There are no heroes in this war, no winners to be had, and no real conclusion. If you want something a bard can dig into, look to the dragons. <coughs> a thousand years from now, Skyrim will have changed rulers dozens of times. But the return of the dragons? That story is once in an era. Don't forget to speak to Yorn when you're ready for the festival.
bard to be. Did Viarmo send you? Great! Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. There's the man himself. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. Spiced wine here. First cup is paid for by the Meat pies! I believe Sanguine would be pleased with his festival. I believe Sanguine would be pleased with his festival. People of Solitude, we of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. With the lighting of the effigy, he becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Please welcome our newest Bard! I think they like you. Yes, congratulations, you are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you. people around who aren't complete fools. Welcome to Solitude, home of the arts here in Skyrim. Lady Aetia says my voice is second only to hers, but she's selling me short. Few can resist my charms. Even fewer are worthy of them. Damn fool! I should wring her neck. Lorena. That fool student of mine stole my flute and sold it to some necromancer. I just got a ransom note for it. That flute has been handed down for 17 generations. Well, don't just stand there. Go get my flute! Apparently, Lorena told him some story about the flute being able to make the dead dance. It's just a flute. A really old and valuable flute, but just a flute. Now you can say you've met the most talented bard in all of Skyrim. Ah. 
Eyes open.
Skyrim wouldn't go near a place like this. Divine's blessing. May the ground you walk quake. Oh, pass. such colors. That's it. Wonderful. I knew I could count on you. I don't have any money to give you, but I can show you a few tricks I learned playing for the Winterhold Wizards. Now you can say you've met the most talented bard in all of Skyrim. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious. But a well-made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. Ah, yet another new face. I'm from Hammerfell, you see. I can hardly keep track of all the people I've been meeting. Being old's not so bad. Travel. My daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. It's quite fetching, actually. The craftsmanship is excellent. Oh, really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few dresses quite soon. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Anyone with a stout heart like yours is welcome here.
If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. Well, that's wonderful. You've done us a great service. As promised, the outfit is yours. And here's something for your trouble. It's not an insult, just an observation. If I were walking around with a wound, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where a tire is concerned. Remember Radiant Raymond when you need a change of attire. What do you need, my Thane? Long life to you, Thane. Until next time. Hmm. <laughs> do I get to keep it? Ah, just kidding. Done then. <laughs> <laughs>